Second thing great coaches do is they develop themselves. They develop themselves. The st going to the story of Amy Borman, Simone Biles' coach. She started working with Simone at the age of six. Simone and her daycare went on a field trip. I like this country at six, they're going on a field trip. Anyway, so as an immigrant, I see things differently. Yeah, yeah. Perspective. But at six, they went on a field trip to a gymnastics, is it called a studio or gym? Gymnastics gym. So it's a gym gym. OK. So they went on a, on a field trip to the gym gym. As she saw the other girls performing and doing all their twirling and backflips, she was mesmerized. Went home, told her parents, sign me up. This is what I want to do. Sign me up. And they did at six. Hey, a number of you have young, kid, young, young daughters and sons who are in gymnastics. The child wants to have fun. Yeah, let them get involved. Enter in Amy Borman, who herself was a gymnast, started gymnastics from six and did gymnastics till 18. At 13, she started working as an assistant coach at this gym gym. You guys will be saying that for the rest of tonight, gym gym. At this, she started working there at the age of 13 to pay for her gym fees. Yeah, Jim Jim, thank you. You see, yeah. Oh man, I've messed you up. Oh dear, oh dear. Started working there at 13, connected with Simone, I think she must have been in her 20s or 30s. There was just something she saw about this little girl that, wow, this, this girl has something. And like Bob Bowman, she took her under her wings. She was not thinking, oh, this is an Olympian. She was just training a kid. But what she realized was that Simone Biles was catching on quickly. Everything that she was taught, she caught on quickly. With competition, she was winning. And at some point, she was beginning to panic, like, wow, will I be able to, how, how far can I take this person? And her major concern was, at some point, this young girl will outgrow me. And she told Simone's parents, hey, if it ever gets to that point, I will help you find another coach. But if, remember that Amy Borman herself was a competitive gymnast. And people that are competitive want to win. So she asked herself, why should I let someone else do this? Why can't I work hard? Yes, I have not coached an elite athlete, but I can develop myself to the point where I am coaching an elite athlete. And she set up a growth plan, found elite athlete coaches, and went under them, started learning from them. She started pushing herself to get better because of Simone Biles. Here's the lesson, you cannot give what you don't have. So we talked about talent first. My second point is how are you developing yourself? How are we strengthening the bench for this company? Because you don't grow a company by growing the processes. You grow a company by growing the people. And I know you guys are making serious investments in people development. So you're on the right, you are on the right track. You're on the right track. But the question I have again for you, because I am talking to the people in here, you guys again, you are the, you are the leadership team. How are you developing yourself? How are you developing yourself? What are you doing to grow? You understand that you are a $200 million company right now, yeah, in revenues. You don't have right now what it takes to be a $500 million company. Would you agree with that? Yes. 
Yeah. Because if you did, you would be a $500 million company. You can handle 250, maybe 270, maybe 300. But if you were given business worth $500 million now, it would crack you. So the question is to figure out, OK, where am I as someone that works in a $200 million revenue? What do I need to learn to increase my capacity to work in the same role, be you a VP, manager, supervisor? What do I need to learn to build myself to operate at 500 million? What you've done to get you here will not be enough to get you there. You will all have to, first of all, take personal responsibility for your growth. Figure out where the gaps are. Because as you increase capacity, the company rises. It's natural. It's natural. You all have, and I, I, I can say this with, com with confidence, you all know somebody that works at a $500 million company. They don't have to be in the same space. How many of you are on LinkedIn? You should all be on LinkedIn. Hmm? Yeah, LinkedIn. Look for companies, $500 million companies in your area, and find someone who is in the same role with you. Take them out for lunch. Say, hey, my name is Ken A. This is who I am. This is what I do. I would like to pick your brain. I see that we have the same role, but your company is much larger than mine. This is the goal we've set for our organization. I'd love to pick your brain. You know, people like to help if you give them that honor that, hey, I see there's something about you that I, I can learn. I can learn from you. And just sit down and ask questions. The benefit to that, the bonus to that is what? Who can tell me? Huh? It's free. No, it's coming out of your pocket. <laughs> it's not free. It's they mentor you. It develops you. It develops you from a, from a okay, who are the sales folks in the, in, the, in the audience? Sales, okay. So you've asked someone who is in a $500 million company, hey, can I meet with you? I'd like to learn from you. What are you establishing? Network, Network relationship. And you know the laws of money. People do business with people they like. And that person who starts out as someone whose brain you want to pick says, hey, I like this person. I like this lady. I like this guy. I think you should come and talk to our XYZ. Or I have a friend in this $2 billion company. I'd like to introduce you to the person. You have to take responsibility for your growth. I can be, and I, I might be sounding a little hard, but <laughs> I think I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, in good, I'm on good ground to be because of the goal you have. You, you, didn't, you didn't say you wanted to get to 250, right? Did you? No, no. 500. You have to do some drastic things. Some of you that are uncomfortable connecting with people, get out of your comfort zone. Get out of your comfort zone. You die in your comfort zone. You grow in your stretch zone. Stretch yourselves. If you need to build relationship skills, buy books. If you need to develop your leadership skills, buy books. Pay for classes, take courses, find a mentor. Develop yourself. Someone who has not gone ahead of you cannot mentor you. Yeah, right. Yeah. Someone who has not gone ahead of you cannot mentor you. Thanks for asking that question. You don't want a travel agent, you want a tour guide. 
A travel agent tells you, oh, Cancun is beautiful. This is the hotel. This is the beach. This is how much it costs you to get there. But they've never been to Cancun. <laughs> the tour guide has been there, knows the local fun spots, and will take you there.